Good evening. Uh, thank you so much for having me here. We've had some great discussions today, uh, a very good session by Roshni just now. And also, uh, yeah, and also throughout the day we've heard all these buzzwords uh, around the attention economy, uh, generative AI. Now let's talk creative. So as the digital ecosystem evolves, and uh, we are right now in the world where there are new placements being added almost every, every few years, the latest being CTV, that also we touched upon uh, in the attention session, uh, we need to ensure that our creative strategy fits uh, fits releasing, the, uh, releasing so that our creatives work across uh, these different channels. And uh, they need to be tailor-made as per uh, you know, the device, because there is a lean-in method, which is around uh, releasing your ads on, uh, on mobile and desktop, where you're also consuming content, maybe reading an article, and the attention span is really, really low. It's a sound off environment. To the lean back, which is on CTV, which is sound on, uh, you know, full screen view, and very, very high attention. Uh, so creative remains a key differentiator, not just for teats, but also in the minds of marketers, uh, where creative is, uh, remains one of the key uh, pillars of success, along with uh, measurement and, say, targeting. So simply put, just running the same ad across, uh, you know, all platforms, all formats does not perform well or does not perform as well as ads which are optimized uh, you know, to a particular platform. So uh, using entirely separate campaigns uh, across, you know, multiple, across different platforms, like say if you have a separate campaign for social, separate one for uh, you know, separate display and separate video, that performs, uh, that results in the least brand lift uh, during the campaign. This is a study that we, uh, that we picked up from Kantar. However, if you use the same creative across channels, then you see a 32% lift. But when you tailor-made and customize your ads to fit different devices, that's when you see a further lift of 13%. So tailoring the ads uh, gives us the maximum lift, and the more brand equity we get, it leads in a more longer-term brand ROI. So at Teeds, uh, we know the power of, of optimizing our own real estate. And uh, all this data is from an unbranded study that's been done since 2020 to 2023, uh, where we've seen that generally the uh, formats which are optimized for attention, uh, so we work very closely with Lumen uh, to drive attention, and also formats uh, you know, which, which, uh, uh, which we use throughout the, throughout the funnel. Uh, and our formats deliver much, much better results across all the brand metrics compared to uh, standard formats. So optimizing for channels is important, and we do this in three different ways. Uh, the first one is the creative optimization, uh, which is bespoke and is done 90% of the time, where we get raw assets uh, from the client, and uh, then our studio team, it, it works on them and creates engaging assets which can be distributed uh, on the campaign. The second one is a customized workshop that we brought to market. It's a proprietary uh, Teach product. It's called the Atelier, where we work very closely with the agency and and with the uh, with the uh, with the media team on the client side to co-create optimized assets, which can then be distributed. And then finally, you have the creative innovation, where uh, we have the capability to create AR creatives. Uh, gamification or conversational ads which are powered by AI. So when it comes to omni-channel, uh, the task becomes to tailor make the messages for specific channels and ensure the right ad is placed in the right platform. In doing so, uh, we are able to provide increased brand visibility, a seamless brand experience, and also amplify uh, the campaign impact through multiple channels that, that work in tandem to increase the brand recognition and the overall campaign effectiveness. So uh, looking specifically at CTV, which is uh, the newest one uh, you know, amongst, amongst the crowd, and what optimizations we are driving. So we have some data from uh, our partners at LG Ad Solutions. So that data survey points to enhanced uh, CTV creative driving positive associations and engagement alongside some of the uh, enhancements that we are able to deliver. So, uh, so all of this is uh, delivered 
we are two methods. There is obviously, there is the standard skin that we use or the overlays. And we've also seen that adding a further layer of say a QR code gives us multiple options to deliver uh, you know, a much, much better experience for the user. So there are two types in which, uh, you know, ads can be displayed on CTV. One obviously is, is the home screen, which is native. Uh, it's 100% share of voice. It's the first point of contact when you switch on your TV. And then you have uh, the CTV in-app, which is your pre-roll, mid-roll, post-roll, uh, which is 100% share of screen and sound on. So at Teeds, we partnered with uh, LG Ads, uh, in Q3 and Q4 for a pilot in multiple markets, uh, wherein uh, we saw some fantastic results across uh, multiple campaigns. And now this partnership, uh, we've taken it to the next level starting February. We are representing LG for their home screen inventory in India and in uh, 30 other markets globally. So uh, let's look at some of the work that we did, uh, where we got in our studio team to Go, uh, to recreate the assets that we got from the clients. So uh, we did this for Audi, where we had a 15 second video from the client. What our team did is took a five second clip out of that, and with the high res PSDs of the, of the product that we had, we were able to create a 3D effect, which resulted in a very, very good experience for the user. And this was backed by, this campaign was backed by a brand lift study. Uh, we work with Lucid, which is a third party uh, brand study provider. And uh, the results were fantastic. Another uh, opportunity is leveraging the 3D out of home creatives. And uh, this is again the new buzzword where uh, companies are creating very eye catching uh, billboards, which we see all over social media. And they can very well be uh, very well be adapted in the CTV space to deliver a great experience for the user. So there are multiple touch points uh, within the LG TV operating system uh, that are there both for running video and display. And our teams are well equipped uh, to, to create really uh, unique experiences uh, for the user. Now uh, let's look at the in-app inventory. So usually we would see brands mostly running just the CTV, just the uh, 15 seconder or a 30 seconder ad uh, within the app. So uh, what we do is we use the same formats that we deliver on mobile and run that on CTV. So what you see here is a branded skin, wherein uh, you know there is a skin alongside the video which tells the user uh, you know what is the product which is being advertised. And then, obviously, there are multiple ways in which we can distribute the skin. So uh, it can be, so what you see here is a tile effect, something that was used by Adidas. And uh, what you saw earlier was a, was a plain vanilla skin. And in case uh, the client is looking at 100% share of screen, then we can also do a simple overlay, which is a static overlay. It just comes in. It, doesn't, it is not very intrusive. So we had done this for Windows uh, for a campaign in the US. And uh, again, it doesn't really uh, you know, impact. There's no negative impact on the user experience on this one. It's only positivity and creates a much more branded recall. Then this overlay can also be dynamic, wherein uh, in case there is an event or there is a show which is coming up, then we can change uh, using the TV's uh, date and time. Uh, we can change the, uh, you know, the, the text on the overlay. So the first one was for a match which is starting tomorrow for the hockey league. This is for tonight. And uh, the one which you see now is for, say, later in the week on a Saturday. So that is possible uh, and, and something which, is, which delivers very, very well. Now, uh, what we have also seen is we can also leverage the QR code, which came back into our lives with a vengeance after COVID and with the advent of UPI. And thankfully, most people now know how to use a QR code. I'm, and, and I'm not talking, obviously, we in digital, we know about it, but the common man knows how to use a QR code. So, uh, and there are multiple ways in which this can be leveraged. And here we are using the assumption that when a person, when a user is consuming content on TV, they also have their mobile with them. So when they do that, it creates a world of opportunities for us to leverage uh, that placement. So this is a very, uh, the slide looks very complicated, 
But simply put, what it says is that uh, QR codes are an excellent way to drive attention and key brand metrics. So let's look at a few examples. This is the simplest one, which is the shoppable QR, uh, wherein a user can just scan this QR code uh, and then go ahead and check out the product on the website. It links directly to the product SKU. This was used very, very effectively by Flipkart uh, during the World Cup, and they were almost there uh, you know, every day, and most of their ads were around this. Then uh, we ran this campaign for this company, which uh, had a partnership with Amazon. So, uh, and so the messaging here was, you know, you just have to say, hey Alexa, open low, slow, and more. And if there was an Amazon powered device, uh, which was there in your house or around you, it would open that, uh, that URL onto your TV or onto your mobile. Luxury sampling is something which is getting a lot of traction globally. And uh, that is something, and uh, brands are leveraging it. It used to be done via magazines, uh, you know, offline method magazines or newspapers. And now it's slowly moving to digital. And uh, uh, using a QR code on CTV is a great way uh, of utilizing that. Then there are some complex executions like AR. There are few vendors in the market who are able to offer that right now. And uh, so this is something that we did for Cartier where on scanning the QR, so there was a normal TV ad which would, a normal 15-seconder uh, which would run on CTV, and when, scan, when you scan the QR code, you could do two things. You could either view the product in 360 degree, or using AR, you could place the product in any place in the room, whether it's a, it's a sofa or a couch, and see what it looked like. So again, a very, very immersive experience for uh, the user using two screens. And, uh, this one we executed for Nissan in uh, Thailand and some other markets for the launch of X-Trail and Qashqai, where uh, the, the, the video, uh, the video uh, spoke about the partnership with Flash, the movie, and then once you scanned the QR code, you were taken to a website where there was a mixed reality experience where you could see the car in 3D, you could also check out the different features, you could picture yourself sitting inside the car as well. Uh, you know, using the mobile screen. So again, very, very immersive experiences and great opportunities for us um, to tap into, uh, you know, the possibilities with the QR code. Now, I spoke about uh, 3D out of home earlier, and uh, these billboards are very eye-catchy, and a lot of brands are jumping onto it because of the experience that it delivers in the outdoor space and, and the clutter that it breaks. So uh, the best thing that you can do is take those experiences to other devices. So here is one that uh, we've done for Moet and Chandon, the uh, champagne brand in France. So we took the creative from their billboard, we, we got inspired by that, and we got the same experience to come to a mobile screen. So this came in the form of a 3D creative and uh, you know, resulted in a great experience to the user. And then we also took it to CTV, wherein, again, there was a 3D effect which was added uh, to the video, and the results of the campaign were really, really good in terms, of, uh, in terms of ad recall. So we are absolutely in a great position to deliver an omnichannel optimization, so which, you know, building out optimal fit for the platform and uh, using the creative across multiple touch points uh, through engaging our studio team. So uh, just to summarize, so combining mobile and CTV has significant effects and we need to optimize for attention across channels and that will deliver better results. And Teach Studio, which is our in-house studio team, can deliver all this uh, to, to clients at no additional cost. All we charge for is media and all these creative optimizations and research, they come to you as a value add. And uh, so we are able to create seamless brand experiences across multiple touch points. So, uh, so yeah, I would really encourage, uh, you know, all of you from Densu, our clients, to use our creative workshops so that we can present and, uh, and present what we can do for you and, and incorporate our data insights and AI uh, to ensure the best campaign performance. Uh, are there any questions? Great. Thank you.